four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Savinien de Cyrano de Bergerac was a French novelist, playwright and duelist who lived in the early to mid-17th century. His life was fictionalised in a play written by Edmund Rostand in 1897. The theatrical adaptation drew attention to de Bergerac's big nose. That was also the focus, if you pardon the pun, of the 1987 movie featuring Steve Martin and the 1990 film starring Gérard Depardieu. More than three decades later, de Bergerac has been reimagined as a little person, played by Peter Dinklage. He falls in love with a beautiful and intelligent young woman, Hayley Bennett, who grew up in the same town as him. De Bergerac's stature doesn't hold him back from anything other than coming out and telling the lady, Roxanne, how he feels. He's not afraid to speak his mind, is a master swordsman and a member of the King's Guard. He's also a most witty and incisive poet. Roxanne is being courted by the powerful Duke de Gouche, Ben Mendelssohn, a man she's not the slightest bit interested in. But then she spots a new recruit to the guards, the handsome Christian, Kelvin Harrison Jr. She's immediately smitten, and so is he. Roxanne informs de Bergerac of her interest and asks him to ask Christian to write to her. Only, while Christian may be good with his fists, when it comes to wooing a woman, he's all at sea. So it is that, with Roxanne requesting de Bergerac look out for Christian, de Bergerac pens letters for him, completely winning her over with his turn of phrase. Things are set to get a lot hairier, though, after Christian and Roxanne meet, and Christian is not the wordsmith he appears to be on paper. Once again, de Bergerac comes to the rescue. And such is the case, too, when Christian and de Bergerac are both sent off to war on the front line by the vindictive duke. The questions are, will Roxanne ever learn the truth? And will true love win out? You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Cyrano Circa 2022 is a romantic and dramatic musical. Erica Schmidt, wife of the film's star Peter Dinklage, is the writer responsible for the unique interpretation of the age-old story. The score is by Bryce and Aaron Dressner, Matt Berninger and Karen Besser. Joe Wright, who was responsible for the film Atonement, directs. I was particularly taken by Dinklage's resolute representation of de Bergerac. His inner turmoil is written all over his face. He's particularly expressive throughout. His eyes speak wonders. Bennett makes for a charming, if starry-eyed, Roxanne. Kelvin Harrison Jr. ensures we're in no doubt that Christian is way out of his depth in trying to engage with Roxanne. Mendelssohn plays the Duke as suitably arrogant and entitled. Bashir Salahuddin comes across as sympathetic as de Bergerac's superior officer and friend, Lebret. Musically, I found Cyrano easy to warm to. The settings are picturesque. The movie was shot in stunning Italian locales. The production design is a major feature. Cyrano is a story with heart that I enjoyed watching. It scores a seven and a half out of ten. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.